I've never animated a good work cycle and that's been haunting me this whole time. I know I'm not alone. So today I decided to put an end to that and face my fears and so are you. Today we're going to make a perfect work cycle. For this work cycle we're going to use Miles Morales rig, which I'm hey. really happy to have. Okay, okay Miles, you can back off now. Miles. Miles, you're way too With close. Miles! Comes great responsibility. I love this rig. It's just so good. The controls, the look, it's it's really nice. It was made by Animseps who was kind enough to make it available for free on his group. Link down in the description. A wall cycle can be broken down into four major poses. The contact, the low, the passing, and the high. Once you've created these poses, all you need to do is to copy them, flip them, and place the copies after the originals on the timeline. And just like that, you've got a walk cycle. That's exactly what we're going to do in Blender. You can add a reference image on your viewport if you want, or you can open it on your browser or somewhere else to help you visualize the poses. The process is simple. First we're going to create the contact pose and then we're going to copy it and paste it flip. And now we have the extreme poses. Don't worry about the timing now, we can fix it later. And once we've done that, we are going to duplicate the first contact pose and place it at the end so that we can have the cycle. So now that we have our two contact poses, all that is left to do is to add the poses in between, meaning the, the low, the passing, and the high pose. And finally, we're going to copy them and flip them as well. So you need to think about these contact poses as your extremes, meaning each time you get to a contact pose, the moving leg changes. And that's what actually makes your cycle. So now I'm just looking at my reference and creating the other poses following the same order on my reference image, not worrying too much about the timing for now. Also, don't forget to change your viewing angle so you, you make sure your poses looks good on every angle. After you've got all your poses, you can now start polishing them to make the animation even more natural by adding some details like the position of the hips during the up poses, the tilt of the shoulders, etc. You can also start working on the timing by bringing some keyframes closer according to the style of working you want. For example, I made the up poses and down poses less shorter to make them less noticeable. I know, this was supposed to be a really quick job, but I just kept tweaking the poses to get a better looking animation, and here's what I ended up with. Not bad. Since we came this far, we might as well make the animation look like it's from the Spider-Verse movie. There is a simple way to do that. Select all your rigs bone, by pressing A, go to pose, animation, and click big action. Now change the frame step to 2 so that it will create a keyframe every 2 frames. Also change bake data to pose. Press OK. Once you've done that, you can select all your keyframes and press T on your keyboard. Then choose constant interpolation. And now when you play the animation, it looks like the Spider-Verse style. Oh, 
Once you're satisfied with your animation, you can save it as an action in the action editor, so that you can make it last longer on the timeline without having to duplicate keyframes. All you have to do is switch to the dub sheet, select the action editor, select your keyframes, create an action by clicking here. You can change the name here and then click on this little icon that says fake user in order to save it. Now open the NLA editor and look for your action, click here to place it in the timeline and now we can go to the strip menu on the right and go to action clip. And now you can increase the number of cycles by increasing the value of this repeat parameter. And that's it. When you go back to your timeline, your animation should now last as long as you set it in on the NLA editor. This part is optional, but I just wanted to add an environment to make the render more appealing. I use Grease Pencil for the effects and with the compositor I added some textures for the background. I was inspired by my PC's wallpaper and now get ready for the final result. I really enjoyed making this video because I got to face my weaknesses and I also learned new things like animating using Gears Pistol, which was really cool. I know there are already some tutorials about walk cycles on YouTube. I tried a couple of them myself. Some are complex, others are simpler, but for some reasons I was not able to animate a proper walk cycle even after watching them. That's why I decided to make this video and I tried to break down the exercise and make it as simple as possible so that even beginners can understand the principle. And I hope it was helpful to you and that now you'll be able to animate Wolf Psyker easily. And yeah, all the tools and the rigs I used are, are in the description. And this file also is available on my Gumroad. I've got a lot of exciting content coming soon on the channel because I finished school. And for the next six months, I'll be doing an internship. So I should have more time to focus on making quality content. And if this video was helpful to you, consider liking the video and subscribe if you want to see what's coming next. See you next time.